taking a look at this problem here, this is another scatter plot problem we're going to do. So what we're going to do first, part A says graph the quadratic function of best fit on the scatter diagram. So that's what we're going to do first here. So let's get started with that number A. We're just doing a quadratic regression is what they call it. Okay, so now the first thing is click on stat. So that would be here. And then after that, you'll see this, and you have to put edit in there. So make sure you get stay on edit and push 1, push enter. And then you'll get to this step, and then fill it all in, just like you did on the first video. And that would be just all this data. This up here is my x. This down here is my y. And just kind of fill in all those numbers. And that's what is here, my x and my y. So my first column is my x, my second one's my y. And then once I type it all in, hit the second button in the mode. And if you look above what that says, that says quit up there, if you can see it. So that's why you click that, because you want to quit. And that takes you back to your main screen where we do all of our calculating. And that's what we're going to see then. And then we cl click stat again, which is here, and this pops up. And then we're going to want to go over to calc. So scroll to the one here. Hit it once. It clicks you here. And then you're going to want to go down to quadratic regression. And that's just below the linear. And then once you scroll down to there, push enter. And then this is what pops up for me. Yours, this might pop up for a second and then give the answer. And that's okay. No problem. Nothing wrong with that. But I got to push enter for this, enter for that, enter for that, enter for that, and enter for that to calculate. So I have to do all those enters to finish mine. And then this is what kicks out in the end of that. After I do all that, enter, 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 enter for like four or five times. And that's what I get. Now, this would be my answer here if I was looking for this. Like if it said the line of best fit, that's what that would mean. So this is my y here. So I'd be like y equals. And then if you look at the numbers, that's 0, 0.00. And I'll just go as far as 9, 6. And that would be x squared plus, And then I would write um, 0, 0.560896. 5, excuse me, and that would be x, and then I would say plus 38 point blah, blah, blah. So that's what my equation would be, and this isn't a 4, that's a y. All right, so just something to think about on that one if that's what I'm looking for. And we'll come back to that in a minute, you'll see. So now what we're going to do is you click on this y equals once this is all done, and you get to this uh, screen here. And you want to click on the plot. So you got to scroll up one, and that puts you up here, and you'll be blinking. And then once you push Enter on it, it stays black like this in the second one here. And then what you do from there is you scroll down to, once you get that in there, don't stay up there. Hit this down once. And then you'll be blinking here. And then once you're blinking there, click on VARs. And then this is the screen you'll see. And then you got to go down to stat because that's where we, our calculation was. And then once you go on stat, this will pop up. And then you go over to the right twice. So you click on that twice. And you go to EQ. And then you push enter. And then when you push enter, it pops in here because that's where that thing was blinking at, the cursor. And then once I'm in there, I then hit my zoom, and I go down to zoom stat, and then I push graph, and then I'm here, and this is what pops up. So here's that quadratic function, and that's the best one for those points. So let's just take a look at what this was asking us for. Part A said graph the quadratic function of best fit on the scatter diagram, and that's what we did here. That's what this is. This is that graph. So that's what it was asking us for. Now let's take it a step further because look at part B now. Part B says, what is the quadratic function of best fit for the data given? And that would be this here. So, so then for part B, I would say y equals, and here is my a. And I'm not going to put all them there. I'm just going to go four places. 0 0.0096 x squared 
and then I go to my x plus bx there, and that's plus, and then my b is 0 0.00, 0 or 0 .0, 0 0.56, and I'm gonna keep it there, x. And then for the last one, that's plus 38.5. 176. So there's our answer for that part B. I just had to write what the quadratic function was. Now take a look at this here. That means I could have stopped at those second set of steps. Once I created my regression here, could have clicked enter, went through this process by just pushing enter, and then got down to this. I could have finished that problem if that's all it was looking for here. If I said, hey, what is the best quadratic uh, regret uh, best quadratic equation to represent the data I would get to this point and I can just write down those values like I did for that part B um, but this part a was asking for graph the quadratic function of best fit line on the scatter diagram that's why we had to keep going and that's why we got to here okay now let's take a look at the next uh, question then that question C Question C says, which function would best fit the data, linear or quadratic? So in the last video, I did a linear. So I kind of want to show you those. Actually, I want to show you those. Let's take a look at them. So here they are. Here's the quadratic, and that's the one we just did. Here's the linear. And if we put them together, this is the graph we see to the right here. And I'm just drawing the linear graph there just so you can see the separation of the two. It's, I know it's still a little difficult, but if I had to look at this and choose one, I would choose linear because linear seems to represent the data better than the curve I see here and here. So as I, if I had to go out further, I would probably have more error if I dealt with the quadratic, which was the purple one here. All right, so just keep that in mind here. So the answer for this one that would uh, work the best would be the linear regression. Seems to mimic the data better. So I would say linear. And in the process of that, of saying linear, um, it may ask me to write the equation for the line of best fit. So being quadratic or linear, and I would have to write the linear as the answer for this one. And the reason for all of these uh, regression problems are because that's really what they use for projections in business, um, not the quadratic regression, mostly linear. Um, so they usually ask, how much did you make last year? And then they project that to next year's uh, sales and stuff. So that's usually how that's done, where they assess selling businesses at. And if you ever watch Shark Tank, they get into that quite a bit. So anyways, that's the purpose of all this regression, to really um, predict what's going to happen in the future with whatever you're measuring, whether it be crickets and uh, temperature here, because that's what this was about, or if you're dealing with uh, money, right, and you want to sell a business. So, um, you can do it with population, um, with population growth. Um, generally, that's done with uh, exponentials but, or logistic, but you can also do them here. Um, using these. So again, like I said, this answer for this one will be linear, and it may ask for the, uh, the line of best fit or curve of best fit. So anyways, there's our answer.